I've always personally liked Bella Thorne, even though she's slightly out there. This girl's come a long way from her Disney star beginnings and is never afraid to be her often weird self. She may not be for everyone, but you can't deny that the girl works hard and has serious talent. Bella always seems to have new projects and business ventures on the go, and at the time of this recording, she's only 21 years old. It's no doubt she's creative, and this has also likely contributed to her edgy vibes. Her Instagram following at the time of this video is at 20.3 million, so I'm guessing you're all pretty familiar with her. With this level of fame, it's also expected that she has her fair share of drama and is in the tabloids often. Some of the more recent happenings with Bella included a release of some very private photos and drama with Whoopi Goldberg just last month. Basically, Bella released her own nudes so that they didn't come from the individual who was hacking and threatening her as a way to stand up for herself. Whoopi addressed this topic on The View shortly after, putting the blame on Bella and that it's her fault for taking photos like that in the first place, saying, if you're famous, I don't care how old you are, you don't take nude pictures of yourself. Bella wasn't too happy hearing this and posted some tearful vids on her Instagram, one of which she spoke to Whoopi, saying, shame on you, I don't really want to go on The View anymore because I don't really want to be beaten down by a bunch of older women for my body and my sexuality. I'll touch more on this situation a little later in the video, but in this video we're going to be talking more about Bella's looks and transformation over the years rather than all of that. We've already done it before and after on Bella, but I want to do an update on her since I think that there's more to cover, especially considering this recent drama. She's definitely an interesting one and never seems to stay the same for too long. What's going on guys and girls? My name is Kara and this series we have titled Before and After. Today we're going to focus on Bella, any work she's had done and any recent changes. I've done other celebrity transformation videos on stars like Bella's ex-girlfriend Tana Mojo and Ariana Grande and we'll have links to those at the end of this video. I've also been reading all of your comments and I'm going to be responding to some at the end of this. As as always, if there's anyone else you want me to document, let me know in the comments down below. Now let's get into this video. So it's pretty clear that Bella has had some work done, but I think the girl looks great. When Bella started out in Hollywood, she was super young, but she totally had a different nose back then. In the past, her nose was bigger and wider, but over the years, I would say around 2015, Bella's nose got thinner. It's definitely no secret that it's a new nose. There's also a high chance that Bella got her nose job when she was still underage, which received some criticism from fans. If she was not an adult yet when she did this major plastic surgery, it may seem a bit intense for someone who's technically still a child to get done. However, the star has been in the spotlight since she was around 6 years old, and vanity is definitely something that comes with that lifestyle. These days, Bella's nose looks super tiny and refined. Bella's lips have also changed a lot over the years. Although they were existent when the star was younger, they were much thinner than they are today. I'm not sure when she started, but Bella's lips are definitely much bigger and more plump than they used to be. Bella also gets her eyebrows tattooed, which she's posted photos of before in the past, which probably explains why they look full and defined most of the time. Let's move on to Bella's body. First off, like I mentioned before, pretty recently Bella decided to release her own nude photos because she was hacked. Long story short, not only was her Twitter hacked, but someone reached out to her claiming they had her nudes and threatened to release them. Bella, being the feminist, outspoken individual that she is, decided she would post her own nude pics so that she couldn't have someone blackmail her. She took to Twitter, stating, Yesterday, as you all know, my sh was hacked for the last 24 hours. I've been threatened with my own nudes. I feel gross. I feel watched. I feel someone has taken something for me that I only wanted one special person to see. He has sent me multiple nude photos of other celebs. He won't stop with me or them, he will just keep going. For too long, I let a man take advantage of me over and over and I'm sick of it. I'm putting this out because it's my decision. Now you don't get to take yet another thing from me. I can sleep tonight better knowing I took my power back. You can't control my life, you never will. Here's the photo he's been threatening me with. In other words, here's my boobies. So I'm pretty sure plenty of people are guilty of looking at Bella's nudes, and now we all know what her boobs look like. But I totally respect Bella for standing up for herself and not taking a random person you definitely have to be strong to do that. I don't even think the photos were that bad or revealing from what I saw, so there isn't even a reason to judge. Even before these pics, it was clear and known that Bella has had a boob job. The pics just confirm it and also show off her nipple piercings and her messy looking room. Anyways, I'm not sure exactly when Bella got her boobs done, but from photos, it appears to be sometime after 2015. In 2014, Bella was still rocking a much flatter chest. Looking at photos taken only a couple of years apart, you can see how much bigger Bella's cup size looks. I've also 
also heard speculation that Bella has gotten her butt done, but I don't think I believe that. She probably just matured and so did her curves. In general, I've always thought Bella had a great bod. She's always been thin but seems to have abs most of the time or just a super flat stomach. Bella also clearly has no problem showing off her body and being free in her skin. Bella's pretty open about her sexuality and doesn't hide this on social media, more often than not posting pics in bikinis or other sexy attire. Aside from her hot body, something else that you can't help but notice is the star's body hair. People certainly comment when Bella shows her armpit or leg hair, but her fuck what people think attitude doesn't allow her to care or change for anyone. Although Bella is a total babe, she's pretty infamous for having hairy pits. She has even posted on her Instagram admiring some female celebs who rocked armpit hair in the past, such as Julia Roberts and Madonna. And the final photo is a slide of herself, with the caption reading, beautiful in every way. Seriously though, I've been shocked more than once, like when Bella posted her leg hair on her snap story. I actually didn't know female leg hair grew this long. This wasn't the first or last time she's made it visible on social media, so even if people judge her, she seems to leave them as furry as she pleases. I guess I just don't get this trend at all. Yikes. For someone who seems to have a hippie style when it comes to body hair, there's proof that Bella may in fact groom her lady parts. A couple of years ago, Bella documented on Snapchat her experience getting her bikini area waxed. Since then, I don't think she's shown anything, but judging from some bikinis she wears, she doesn't appear to be rocking a bush. But who knows? Another thing that I think makes Bella unique is her tattoos and piercings. The star is some tattoos that are scattered on her bod, a lot of which are smaller and not too noticeable. Bella has probably around 10 or 12 now that we know of, that which include a few small hearts in different places, a cat, a design on her elbow, and some writing on her legs in a couple of places. Bella's septum piercing is also something that I think is signature to her style and definitely shows her edgy side. She also has a handful of ear piercings and let's not forget her nipple piercings. Let's talk about Bella's hair. So I always thought that she was a natural redhead, but I guess that's because when she was a child star on Disney's Shake It Up, she already had her red hair. It definitely became a trademark look. Bella has said that her natural hair color was actually blonde and she colored it for the show. These days she appears to be growing her hair out, but her roots look much darker now. Apparently the star also washes her hair with beer. I don't know if this is a regular thing that she does, but I'm sure it doesn't make your hair smell the greatest. Bella also switches up her hair by using wigs. She seems to wear them for acting roles as well as when she wants to get glammed up and photo shoots. I personally love the red hair on Bella and her look in the show which she stars in Famous in Love, but I like some of her edginess too. Just maybe not the armpit hair. So although Bella isn't everyone's cup of tea, I really don't think she wants to be. She's comfortable being who she is, outspoken, sexual, and whatever else. I've loved her since the beginning and there's no doubt that she's talented, hardworking, and smart. I mean this girl's been doing it all. Acting in different shows and movies consecutively, putting music out, writing a book, having a makeup line, you name it. I wonder how she finds so many hours in a day and also still seems to have time to party and have fun. Even though Bella is still young, she has already changed a lot since she was a child star. Whether people agree with the work she's had done or not, it doesn't really matter because I think she looks super hot. And if she wants to let her armpit hair grow wild and leave her hair dirty most of the time, it's totally her business. I think that she's proven herself as a strong lady and clearly doesn't want to take sh from anyone. I'm glad Bella sets an example that you can always be yourself regardless of who that might be. Okay guys, so just like last time in the Cardi B video, I'm going to be reading out some of your comments from past bits. This one was from the updated Cardi B before and after. Skittle Boys aka Skittles Nation said, Skittle Boys is in the comments. Nice fashion hat, Kara very stylish. Much love. We see you Skittle Boys. Always love reading your comments and I'm glad you think I'm stylish. Also on the Cardi B vid, corporations are people too, fascism finest. I hope I said that properly, I got a bit confused. Anyways, he said, I like her before, that chipped tooth was her trademark. I liked her before too, she was funny as hell even before she was a rapper. But I don't blame Cardi for wanting to get that glow up after becoming famous. On the Rihanna before and after vid we did, Nightwing16 said, she got thicker and fatter, and also added a bunch of hearts and heart eye emojis. I can see how much you're loving Riri's new look, Nightwing. I'm sure you're not the only one who's into it. Alright guys and girls, that wraps up this video here on Before and After. If you want to talk more about Bella's transformation, you can hit me up on Instagram. Let me know who else you would like me to make a Before and After video on, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!